Good morning and happy Monday. With the year 2022 almost gone, many people like to reflect on the events of the past year and uh, make plans for the new year. Have you done it already? If so, uh, can you choose a word or an expression that pretty much describes the past year? That would be your word of the year. Some dictionaries come up with their own version of the word of the year based on the search data, past events and the general mood of the population. For the Oxford English Dictionary, this word was goblin mode. It is type of behavior that rejects all the social norms. You basically live without caring too much about what other people think about you. The Merriam-Webster dictionary has chosen the word gaslighting, which is a type of psychological manipulation when the abuser tries to make the victim question his or her own sanity. It could be when a person tells you they have done something, but you clearly remember that they haven't. In this situation, the other person is trying to gaslight you. Collins Dictionary tells us that this year was a permacrisis which is a combination of the words permanent and crisis. Permacrisis. Yep, I bet some people would agree with that. And the last one. The Cambridge Dictionary has chosen the word Homer as their word of the year. It is an informal American English word for a home run in baseball. It actually has an interesting story behind it. In May of 2022, in the Wordle game, there appeared a five-letter word that many people didn't know because they don't follow American football. So many people searched the Cambridge Dictionary for this word, Homer. So what is your word? or expression that summarizes 2022. There's still time to think about it before the clock strikes 12 on a New Year's Eve. Wishing you a happy 2023 with great progress in your learning English. All the best to you and to your family. Happy New Year.